welcome back to the channel this is Steph's got it and today I am super excited because today I'm going to open a diamond painting I'm very excited and to just give you briefly a little history about how this happened really quickly this is a company called Victorious Moon and they contacted me by email and said that they checked out the channel and wanted to know if I would be interested in reviewing one of their diamond paintings. So they asked if I would like to review one of their paintings and I of course responded back you know this is what I do I do honest reviews my first impression I and it's honest. It's, it is what it is. I don't lie or or have my honest reaction be bought or whatever. You know, if you're cool with that, then I'm cool with reviewing the product. I would do a few whipping chats showing the product and how it handles and um, pros and cons and then a review at the end. Again, it will all be my honest opinion and will not be bought or told what to say and if you're okay with that then I'm okay with reviewing the painting and they were okay with that so here we have a painting I am super excited um I know that they have asked several diamond painting youtubers in the community to review their paintings and I have not watched any of those because when I give you my honest review I want it to be honest, I want it to be my opinion and not something that I heard someone else say that I liked or didn't like. So you are getting my unbiased, honest reaction. When I first got the email from them, I did I did search Victoria's Moon just to make sure it wasn't a scammer because I had previously gotten two scams emails to review uh, a collapsible cup and to review something else. but. They didn't want to give me the information. They wanted me to re to find the cup on Amazon. Like, no, send me the link with the cup on it. And they didn't do that. So I was kind of skiffy iffy when I got the email from Victoria Victoria's Moon. So I did go to YouTube and search Victoria's Moon, and I saw a diamond painter YouTuber that I had not seen before. And she's not one that. I've had the chance to watch yet so I clicked on it to see did she actually have a painting did it actually show up and uh, even though it was to be free of charge to us I didn't have to pay shipping or anything it was completely free and she opened it I, I, I watched her open it to make sure there was a legit painting in the box and after that when, when she opened the box and pulled the painting out and opened it I immediately ended the video the one thing that I did hate I saw in her video before I shut it down is because she pulled it out before she pulled out the painting, which is a diamond painting pen. And I thought, oh man, I want to be so emotional distraught if I don't get a diamond painting pen just because she had one. But this is not, it was not going to be a reflection on the company. However, in doing due diligence and research on the company, I did see that they include a diamond painting pen in their packages. So we're really excited about that. We get a painting and a diamond painting pen. Now I'm excited because you know we always get of course the pink or the blue or the clear plastic diamond painting pen. No baby. She had a nice pen. I mean like one of the ones you pay a couple of dollars for. So again I hate I saw that because if I don't get that I'll be disappointed. But it's no reflection on the company. They did not promise me a nice pen like that. They just promised a pen. So let's see what kind of pen we got. Okay. And I ordered a painting that I don't have in my stash yet. And I know I'm really behind on unboxings. I have a lot more unboxings to do. They're all stacked up. All the diamond art clubs over there and the other ones from over there like I said I'm trying everywhere because uh, I want to know who has what I like so I'll know in the future who to order from um so shall we get down to business let's get to it I'm gonna go to the camera and set you up so that you focus on the painting and not me <laughs> hold on a second hold that thought okay hon so here we are let's rip this bad boy open and like I said they contacted me by email and the email 
I'm sorry, the package arrived really quickly once we got through with the this is what I do and are you okay with that and we agree you okay with this and um, looking to find out which painting I wanted sharing someone else I thought who might like to review one they got this in the mail and no sooner than she got it actually got it in the mail and got me the shipping confirmation it was pretty short time so uh, this company is in the UK but this package came from came through China and actually came from Dubai so that's kind of interesting <laughs> it's been around and as you can see it's wrapped fairly good and it's in a box all right we're gonna have to cut it all the way Of our diamond painting log over there. All right. So there we go. It says DIY 5D diamond painting. It's a pretty little diamond on it. So as you can see, there are instructions, and it's a pretty paint. This here of itself is a pretty painting. Okay. So you see that best wishes for you. The box is a little weathered for wear, but. It's still in good shape. It seems to be everything that comes from China seems to be a little beat up. Uh, but again, it's it's a strong, like it's a strong box. I'm pressing on it and nothing. It's not giving. So whatever they did to it in the mail, <laughs> they, they must have put something really heavy on it because it's a really strong box. So that's good. It's also taped at both ends to help it stay sealed. So that's good. Let's turn it this way and get in here. I'm going to be looking at everything, guys, because this is a review that I did not buy on my own and that the company asked me to review. So again, I want you to know as much detail as possible. And if you hang in there to the end of this video, I've got a another sweet surprise for you from this company and I don't mean for me I mean for you from this company okay all right let's see what we got let's stuff that out and this painting should be a 60 by 60 centimeter so when they offered the painting they did not say it had to be some little rinky dink painting you could get as big as a 60 by 60 okay so there's nothing else in the box there we go let's unroll it whoa that's huge awesome awesome get the scissors out the way before we accidentally cut something this is why I hate I saw her video because I got the regular pink pen. And that's not anything on the company. They did not promise me a pretty yellow pen with, with drills in it. But I just saw her. So that's why I tried my best not to watch any videos. Because I didn't want to be disappointed by what someone else got. Because that has nothing to do with what I was offered. Alright. So let's roll this. What do you want to see first? The painting or the drills? Let's go with the painting because I can put the drills on the back. All right, so let's open this out. Let's use some of our sewing weights. There we go. Okay, the paper is interesting, the cover, because there's this little strip here that's five inches of paper and then this is one solid piece so I find that interesting it's an odd way to have cut it but it is what it is so let's open it up okay so right off the bat on the side this is the top and you can see it's a 60 by 60 Let's move it down some. So it's a 60 by 60. And here's your legend over here, your schematics. 
and it has the actual painting picture. You have to wait and see. <laughs> it's only on that one side. Okay, yeah, it's only on that one side. So let's help it relax a little. There is glue extending maybe a half of an inch on the bottom and a little over a quarter of an inch on the side. Okay, so let's pull this up and let it relax a bit. Wow, that's huge. All right, the symbols look really good. Um, they're clear. Yeah, they are clear. This is a painting that I don't have anything like in my collection, again. So I'm excited. I hate these things. You can never get them on right. I'm going to replace them with wax paper anyway, so no worries. And let's pull this in. It got a little crinkly there on the end, I guess from whatever happened in the box. And it looks like it got snagged a bit because some of the the canvas is is uh, what do you call it shredding okay and yeah you got a little peach fuzzies here that's not a good idea um, if I had a complaint right off the bat um, that would be not a complaint but just something that they may want to kind of take care of it's good stick okay the glue looks really, really good. I mean, really good. No rivers or rivets. And... Alright, so that end is relaxed. Let's help this end relax. So we're going to pull it up. There are 34 colors in this painting. So let's pull that off. Man, the glue is beautiful I mean just I usually I see like some little lines or something but this looks really good this painting is much lighter than I uh, thought uh, it would be alright so here we go and let's get that off too There you go. There she is. Isn't she beautiful? She's so sweet. I have not seen this painting. I've seen angels. Little girl angels I have seen. But I have not seen this one. She is cute little brown girl with an afro. Because I have natural hair. So I always look for things that have natural hair <laughs> there's some more little peach fuzzies over here that is something that they need to take care of the painting is beautiful the glue is beautiful sticks really well there are no rivers guys this glue I mean I'm sorry to keep going on about the glue but man that's the best glue job I have seen thus far out of all the paintings I have looked at wow I, that's cool okay so let me move on <laughs> it comes up to about a quarter of an inch the glue extends up to a quarter of an inch on this end and a quarter of an inch on that end and half an inch on the bottom okay so it does extend out your only legend or schematics is right here and let's see let's move my phone over here Let's see if we can get you up close. Look at her little feet. Aren't they precious? Look at that. Isn't that cute? Alright. Okay. And let's get her over there. So I think she looks really good. The colors are good. Um, I'm hoping it stands out a little more. It always does once you get the colorful drills on. The symbols are, I can actually see them pretty good, although I do have my natural light uh, bulbs 
flaring over here. I can still see the symbols pretty good. There's a heart. Oh, um, they're basically alphabet, a moon, that little crazy plus cross. One or two digits. I see a nine and a seven. Oh, can you hear me? I hear it. I see a nine and a seven. And they're pretty clear. They don't have a bunch of the ones with the same symbols and the same colors close to each other. Um, I think it looks pretty good, guys. I really do. It's a nice size. And I can actually see the symbols standing from right here. I can actually see, you know, there's a seven, there's a heart, there's an X, there's a five, there's a five, there's a line with two T's on it, there's a five, there's a line with two T's, there's a seven, a J, an E, an A. And you know, I uh, my glasses, I don't see very well, so I'm impressed that I can stand here and look down at it and actually see the symbols. Now over here is a little fuzzier, which is natural. But I can still see that's a circle with a line down the middle. I mean, wow, it's clear. I'm, I'm happy. I really am. Victoria Moon, I am happy. Good job. Um, I'm going to put wax paper squares on here because I do not like opaque paper. Okay, howdy, hun. So I am back. As you can see, I have placed wax paper squares all over my painting because like I said I like to be able to see my painting even though it's it's a bit opaque I can still see and I can see what I have to do and where I'm going and you know I just like to see the whole the vision of the entire uh, thing so let's flip this over again I'm these little red scragglies here on the end are kind of not cool but that's the only thing so far. Everything's been pretty good. Let's get this accessory packet open. So you've got your typical little green tray with no spout. You know I like the spout. You have your typical pink pen. And it has a single placer and a multi-placer. Let's see. There's your multi-placer. So there we go. And I honestly don't know what that is. It's a little piece of paper. Oh, it may be that you can put on the placer and use the use with the placer. I've seen some people do that before. Uh, and my nails are too long right now to fool, even though they're not long at all. Apparently, they're still too long to play the guitar. Um, it's some kind of sticky sheet. We'll find out later. And this little square of wax. I don't know if that's enough wax to do this painting, but we will find out. And your little cheapy tweezers that um, I find these to be worthless. I really do. If I was going to suggest something, I would suggest upgrading to the tweezers that are given to you the black tweezers that have the silver points they are given by more than one company um, currently I think DAC is now doing them but uh, ever moment is the first place I saw those these I would trash and go with the other tweezers because these are really useless they're not strong enough to really do anything that you want to do so that's what you get in the accessory kit let's move it keep it moving it's your basic same accessory kit you get. So, you know, nothing disappointing about that. If I was suggesting improvements, again, I would suggest getting rid of that flimsy uh, tweezers, pair of tweezers, and go with the black heavy tweezers with the really sharp point that can poke an eye out. <laughs> All right, let's get... So here are my packet of drills. And you can see the number on there that matches the number on the painting. So DJ5331, DJ5331, okay? 
It's a 60 by 60 with 34 colors. Yes, 34 colors. So there you go. Let's get into this bad boy. Ah, uh, okay. All right. Dump those out there. Take our baggie. Fold back the little glue strip here. And then flip it upside down. Turn back the little glue strip and glue it down to our cutting mat. Now, so when we get ready to put these drills back in this bag and make it fit, we can just flip it back and just proceed to insert our packets in and that way they don't stick to the baggie. Now, I do like that each color is individually bagged and it's for the people who use the bag system, this is awesome because they're already bagged for them. I don't use the bag system. I want mine in a container. <laughs> so, uh, but this is good. Um, you're not going to get a container from anyone. So this is good. I will be using the storage box system from Harbor Freight. This painting will now take priority over all of my other ones. And I will in all likelihood leave them in these storage containers. Uh, because that's my plan is to store all of my leftover diamonds in actual containers because again I don't like rumming, rummaging through Ziploc bags. So there you go. Let's check this out. Now what another thing I would suggest if I can make a suggestion Victoria Moon would be a inventory sheet because now I have to take this painting to my printer and try to get this on my printer so that I can put them in the box because I like to have the actual color and the actual symbol therefore I know I didn't accidentally draw or write the wrong symbol it doesn't make or break your deal your company but it is a nice thing to have and when we're counting our drills we can be sure to check off on our inventory sheet that we have everything we need and that just is a little more helpful to us as diamond painters so that would be a suggestion in the meantime you go get a sip of water hold that thought and i'm going to put these in order so that i can go through them in a fashionable order and i can count them <laughs> okay all right, so the colors look nice. That's a really beautiful burnt orange and this nice, lovely maroon. And I'm gonna show you uh, the numbers are, each, each label is the number of the color and then the DMC code. And because number four is black and that is 310 and we all know that 310 life, right? So those are the DMC codes and then it also tells you how much each packet weighs like this weighs 7.9 grams so that's nice the biggest color is this color I find uh, that's interesting um, that's 18.1 grams okay let's get you to review the colors I'm hot guys are you hot I'm hot the fans facing the wrong direction um, okay so hold that thought and let's get you set up to look at the actual uh, drills. Hold that thought. So here's color number one. There you go. Okay. And number two. I switched lenses, so hopefully this works. Yes, this works out great, so I don't have to add pic pictures. It's a little peachy. Nice. And that three, ten, life. Boom, boom. It's a small baggie for the entire painting. Ha! Okay. And that's a nice red. 326. And, whoa, I think this is the smallest pack. It's 0.3 grams. 
it's kind of a coral corally red it's kind of an olive green okay if y'all could only see behind the camera <laughs> I'm happy to look over my glasses to make sure each one is in frame. Lift up my glasses to make sure each one is in frame. Because <laughs> I'm too close to the camera. I can't see close distance with my... There's a little Han Solo. Hope you find your way, buddy. Oh, there's another one. <laughs> and Oops, sorry. Ooh, that is something special right there. 648. I think I just found my new color. Whoa, that is awesome. Of course, I would say that red is my favorite color, but this is beautiful, guys. It's another green. I'm just going to take my glasses off, put them right there so I don't have to keep lifting them. That's a pretty shade of red too, 817. It's even a little darker. Mmm, that's something special too. It's a pink. Not much of a pastel girl, which is odd. I got this painting because I'm not really a pastel y person, but it's pretty and she has an afro. <laughs> that one. There's another Han Solo. May the force be with you, my friend. I think I'm out of order here, but we'll keep that one. That's like a sea foamy, minty, sea foamy mint ish. Oh, I stand corrected. That is like a slate blue, like a, uh, a, a pastel slate blue color. It's a kind of grayish. It's really pretty, actually. Hmm. And there's your blue. That's a nice shade of blue. Here's a nice, almost hot pink. Okay. It's another shade of green. Kind of a limeade. This looks like that same color, but more bluey. No, more green. More green. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, that one's more blue and that one's more green. Yeah. Okay. Oh, y'all don't know how happy I am to finally figure it out to change lenses. Because I was. it's so hard to edit and put in pictures of every single one. Because it means I had to go back and take pictures of every single pack. So this is a blessing. And you guys get to see it in action as it's moving around. Not a still shot. I, I like that too. That's a nice color. Ooh, that's party. This is chocolate. Yum, 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 yum. Chocolate. Even though it kind of looks greeny. But it's not. It's chocolate. It's brown. It's a deep, deep, dark brown. I don't have my glasses on, so maybe that's why it looks green to me. White. Every painting has a little white, I suppose. Here we go. There's a no... There's a Han Solo... A Han Solo Chicky. Okay. And there's a really loose Han Solo <laughs> right there. So anyway, why did I do that? Now nah, I bet you it's not going to work. Oh, worked even better. Man, I need to start doing some manual adjustments here. Y'all, that is so freaking pretty. It is an orangey, like a burnt orange. Oh, it's gorgeous. For all you purple fanatics, Shelly. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Dyer's a purple. Okay. I like to call that color coffee because it reminds me of coffee with cream in it. But it's a uh, light brown. Not that I drink coffee. I used to years ago. But I don't drink coffee and tea anymore. 
or alcohol for that matter. Oh, this is lovely. It's a maroon wine color. Look at that. That's lovely. Let me grab my glasses back. Put this back down here. So there you go. There are the drills. Let's put you back in focus. All right, so there you have it, my loves. That is my painting from Victoria Moon, Victoria's Moon. I'm not gonna watch, oh, I guess you could, I'm just tuck them back in there. Now, and then we just pull this up and they're all nicely bagged in. Actually, there's another Han. Get in there, Han. And even them out. Flatten that down, and voila, we got them back in the bag. Easy peasy. So here is the painting. Now, now, let's pull out and go some of my some of my initial first thoughts. I turned the fan this way, so now it's blowing everywhere. In the drill book, the diamond painting book. Let's see and here we go all right so this is an angel of course so they have oh my gosh guys the website has so many many picture uh, paintings on it i think there were did i write it down there were 176 pages um, of D diamond paintings with about 33 on each page and it looks like there were about 79 pages that had just the 2019 new arrivals so y'all they have a lot a lot of paintings I saw all types of animals angels dragons um, dogs cats cows roosters chickens you know I saw the chickens and um, cars and fires and paint I mean flowers scenery um, cottages they had everything so they have a a plethora of choices to choose from all right so my painting again is a full as you saw and it was uh, round drills and as we just discovered there were 34 colors okay and this again is from victorious moon dot co dot uk and i will have the link down in the description bar below to my painting as well as just their general home page link as well um the prices are in the currency that is used in the uk so it was 75.99 in their currency which came to our currency to be about 30 35 ish dollars something around there but uh and it was on sale they're having a great sale right now so if you're interested in buying from them now is a good time to do so because they have an awesome sale going on with the sale price this was dropped i mean it's dropped to, it's a 50 percent to 75 percent sale so that's really good and guess what i have So hang in there with me a few more minutes and I'm going to give you a coupon code to get 10% off. Alright? That's good for as long as you use it. It's good, good. I mean, it's it's good. It lasts good. Not just a one-time use. Okay? So hang in there with me a few more moments. Um, the painting was shipped on 722 and I received it on 730. And if you want to see what my little girl looks like, you can check it out here so that's what she oh, that's what she's supposed to look like okay isn't she beautiful all right okay so here remember some of my suggestions is I like to take my sticker maker this is one of my this is my smallest sticker maker um, and use the inventory sheet to make a copy of it to make a copy of the legend or schematics whatever you want to call it and put it through here so that I can put them on the containers that 
there's only one and it's on the actual painting so I would if, if I could make a suggestion Victoria Moon it would be to include an inventory sheet um, what the website was very easy to maneuver uh, it was user-friendly the only thing that I would that I would like to see and this just may be a Stephanie thing no one else may even care about this but I was sad that I couldn't register I couldn't um, register on the website so that I could create a wish list because they had so many paintings that I actually want to go back and buy that I wanted a wish list so that I would know uh, when I go back that those are the first ones to start purchasing but what I did do was save the picture in a file on my desktop with the name and um, product number item number so that I would have a list which is I have the same thing for my DAC uh, even though DAC has a wish list but I still keep a picture of the name and the item number in a file in on my computer so that I always have that Victoria Moon I would like to see a wish the ability to create a wish list I think it will be helpful for you as well as your as well as your uh, customers uh, the shipping was fast. As you can see, it was very well packaged. Um, and guys and girls, they do customs. So I am going to send one of my pictures in as a custom. Either one of my wedding day pictures or the picture of my mother and my daughter. That one's really important to me. So I... I was going to send that one to Ever Moment, but I'm I'm I like Victoria Moon. I'm 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 happy with what I got. Um, so I may give them the opportunity to. Um, I don't want to be disappointed, so that's my only hesitation. Because um, as you may not know, but my mother was murdered, and uh, my daughter was three years old at the time, and and witnessed that, and so it's very important to me that this picture be done and done correctly because it's the uh, it's it's well I'm going to give them a custom order I don't know if it's going to be the wedding picture or one of my wedding shots or that but yeah they accept PayPal and credit cards I love when people take PayPal because if I may not have my purse with me when I'm looking on the li online on my cell phone but I, I, you can always go to PayPal and just sign in and have them um, transfer the funds so I love that they take PayPal um, I've already told you there were a lot of pages my cons from this initial first review would just be that these little scraggies um, I need to get it so that the paintings don't do that um, and I don't know how you do that but that's something that you can invest in and get rid of these cheap tweezers and get some really nice strong tweezers overall I am extremely happy with this painting with this package with this kit um, this is a good strong box I'll give let me I mean it's a good strong box ow and it does have the flaps that seal back in so I guess it could be a storage box okay mm. you want to remember my favorite motto bigger is better <laughs> if you have a busy painting and a lot of the paintings were busy so you are probably gonna to want to go with a bigger size so I was really thankful that they let us get up to a 60 by 60 so that we could get a really good clear image um, what else you can all they have good customer service every time I responded to her she responded back to me with answers or questions of her own in less than uh, 48 hours so I thought that was really good it says that here that all their orders are processed and shipped from their warehouse in Asia okay so there you go on that the product size in the purchase order is the same as the actual picture okay so 
while the side length of the canvas is five centimeters longer than the actual picture. If you order a product with a size of a 30 by 40 centimeter, the size of the canvas is approximately 35 by 45. So you know you're getting the true size for the painting that you order. I am really disgusted by a lot of these paintings I have. The size is by the canvas but the actual painting is smaller. So I really appreciate that and that is something that has become really important to me tomorrow night. Today is Saturday and I'm going to kit it up tomorrow night and I will record it. I may go live just for fun, just for giggles and kicks because I've not done a live yet and um, yeah. Hmm. Well, think about that. If I don't go live, then I'll post the actual video. If I do go live, it'll be like 8 a.m. I mean, 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. And I appreciate you taking the time to stop by and check out my Victoria Moons paint. I know there have been a lot of videos going up. Now I get to go back and review those videos now that I have had my own honest and unbiased reaction to the painting. I am very happy with it. I am happy with the company. I am happy with the customer service. I am happy with the shipping. And I am ready to get to work. I am going to move this up to the top of my list for diamond paintings. So. As I kit it up, you will also get to see me do a couple of whipping chats. So we get to see together firsthand how the painting reacts to the stone, the drills being put down and um, how the wax responds. I won't be using that pink pen. Um, I don't really care for those little pens. They're too skinny. They hurt my hand. I need um, pens that have that are fatter or that I can slide a actual uh, cushion thing onto there's no squishy in here that's something else Victoria Moon if I could recommend I would recommend putting a squishy in here for the people who do use these pens a lot of us like to have soft pens and these pens are really hard I appreciate the multi-placer especially on a larger painting thank you very much um but yeah, I will probably be using my new chicken pen or I, I don't mean the one that I had in the whipping chat with Shelly. I mean, I actually have another chicken pen that I ordered from KK's Unique Diamond Pens along with some chicken minders. So that video is going to go up. She shipped it out to me yesterday, so it should be here soon. I also have some handmade pens by Jim's Handmade Pens and Carol's Diamond Painting Pens. So I have a couple of pens to unbox and show you. And uh, yeah, so we'll work with one of those on this painting. Or maybe we'll try a new one on each painting and see how they feel and how they work. Uh, again, thank you so much for stopping by to check out my Victoria Moon's painting. And I also have a video for this hair coming up, an unboxing for this hair. As you, I don't know if you can see or not, but it's blue and purple in some spots. <laughs> I did not know that when I ordered it. So, um, lots of stuff coming up and follow up on the, I did do a follow up on the book bag, diaper bag purse. I just didn't get to edit. Guys, edit is such a serious thing. I mean, wow. When you make a lot of mistakes, you have to do a lot of editing. So I need to edit those, but I do have a report for you on the bag and its use for the three months. And I also have a report on the circle bottle and if I'm still using that. All right. So today is Saturday. I'll see you Sunday. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you enjoy the content on the channel, please feel free to give it a thumbs up. And if you're not enjoying the content on this channel, well, you're always free to give it a thumbs down. You do you, boo, okay? Um, if you enjoy the content overall on the channel, then why not subscribe? 
so you can know when I post new videos. So click the subscribe button below right next to the like button. And if you subscribe, naturally you want to be notified when I put a video up, right? So click the little notification bell so that you can get a notification every time a video goes up. And with that being said, darlings, as Ms. Laura would say, <laughs> I bid you adieu. And I want to remind you to just be kind. Everybody's experiencing something. Everybody's got problems. Everybody's got issues. It doesn't take any more out of you to be kind than it does to be mean. It takes less actually, less strength and energy to be kind than to be mean. So with that, if you are having a good day, help someone else have a good day. Love and shimmies.